Getting some new details about the investigations into three recent cases of racist graffiti found at some Sacramento City Unified Schools. Last week, you might remember we told you about some markings that said white and colored, and they were written over the water fountains at CK McClatchy High School. Well, the school district now tells us an African American sophomore student at McClatchy has confessed to writing those words. Uh, the case has now been turned over to the district attorney's office, and they will decide if the student should face any charges. Days after the vandalism with the fountains, the school district said on Tuesday that it found more racist graffiti, this time along an outside wall at Abraham Lincoln Elementary School. And back in November, a derogatory slur was found on West Campus High School, written multiple times near the vice principal's parking spot. KCRA 3's Brandy Cummings spoke to the district's community liaison about the cases and what he wants to see happen to the students. The CK McClatchy situation is heartbreaking on a number of different levels. Sacramento City Unified School District Race and Equity Liaison Attorney Mark Harris reacting to the most recent case of racist graffiti found at a district school. As KCRA 3 has reported, last week markings that read white and colored were written over water fountains at McClatchy High School. Harris told me an African American student confessed to doing it. I think that this was a prank. It's a, a prank that went sideways. It's an unfortunate prank. It does not seem to be a hate, uh, an example of any kind of a hate crime. It's not an example, in my opinion, of any kind of a racist um, a behavior pattern. It was a prank. But that sophomore student could face being expelled from school and possibly even be arrested, although that's not something Harris wants to see. Well, they need to be punished. They need to be punished within a reasonable realm. But at some point, this is a teachable moment. A teachable moment because according to Harris, who has firsthand knowledge of the case, the high schooler didn't even understand the history attached to the words. It was most distressing that the young woman who put the two words over the water fountains was not aware of the significance of that, genuinely was not aware. But the incident at McClatchy is only one of three current investigations underway, both by the district and law enforcement. The investigation process for the other incidents is being called into question by the NAACP. They wrote this statement that reads in part, quote, the investigation process is not fair, as evident by the swift investigation and closure of the CK McClatchy incident, where the perpetrators are allegedly black. Meanwhile, the perpetrators of the hate crimes at West Campus are still at large, and it seems the SCUSD is protecting them from prosecution. So we get criticized, the district gets criticized for taking too long in that instance, and here's a situation where the whole matter was resolved within two weeks, and, and the district gets criticized for that. As for the case at Lincoln, Harris says it's a multi-layered police investigation currently underway. We've got Elk Grove Police, we've got Sacramento Sheriff's, we have our own internal investigation. All of those things are moving forward together right now, but it will take some time. And the investigation into the case on West Campus was delayed by the pandemic, school closures, and the holidays. There were a number of interviews of witnesses and potential perpetrators over the past few days. Hopefully we'll come to a conclusion on that investigation internally as the district. In Sacramento, I'm Brandi Cummings, KCRA 3 News.